great day. Great day, great day. Um, another day off for me. Second, I say three days in a row. Third day consecutive with a headache. It was pretty lit this morning, like around 2 a.m., but we got up. Drank some pills, not big a fan of pill, but had no other option. Now I'm sipping on the nice, smooth poison called coffee. And haven't made a video because the energies, it's been a bitch. It's been, it's been, uh, Challenging, um, manifesting those positive energies that make you feel like, hey, I do have something to offer. Um, the journey is long. The process is intense and it must be maintained consistently in one way or the other. Um feel confident and positive about the things to come even though I haven't been as consistent with all that I wish to be consistent with but um it's the little things that matter right um don't try to do extravagant things just to make you feel like you're doing something just try to get the Try to do the little things as well as possible. And those little things for me and for many people that end up obtaining what they wish. Because I have no doubt in my mind and in my spirit that I, I won't attain it. Why? Because I am making sure that the little things get done. The things that will either make me or break me. And um, one of those little things is, like I said... Reading this little thing, since I've already committed myself to reading at one of these at least once a year. Year was good, you know. You get me? My goal is to, as Dr. Miles Monroe, that understands and can explain the, the scriptures as well. And in, in a non, uh, in a non preachy manner. Um, and then also reading this baby right here, which I, I'm reading right now. And I wanted to read a little bit of, man. So I'm at the end of this book. Um, this is probably the maybe the third or fourth time that I read this book to and through. And I'm in the back at the end, the last chapter, which is called The Devil's Workshop. And in The Devil's Workshop, Napoleon Hill makes sure to... Set in some self-analysis question, but he also writes down, puts down 55 alibis to failure. Now, some people may ask, like, what is the devil's workshop? The devil's workshop is that aspect of yourself, that part of your mind that is uh, susceptible to negative influences, as noted by Napoleon here, here. It is followed after the six basic fears. And what are those six basic fears that Napoleon Hill speaks of? Those six basic fears are poverty, the fear of poverty, the fear of criticism, the fear of ill health, the fear of loss of a loved one, the fear of old age, and the fear of death. So aside from those six fears, there is a seventh aspect. Just like there are seven virtues, you know you got seven vices. That seventh is what he calls the devil's workshop. You feel me? That that part of our mind that is always listening to everything that's negative that everybody in the world has to offer. And in, in the devil's workshop, Napoleon Hill puts down these 55 alibis that we come, come up, right? to to kind of as an excuse for not succeeding right and we're gonna go to 54 all the way down to 55 and through right so he says 
Let's go 53. If only I had a business of my own, right? That's one excuse people use. If only other people would listen to me, right? That's the 54th. And then here comes 55th. 55th. If only, and this is the greatest of them all, I had the courage to see myself as I really am. I would find out what is wrong with me and correct it. Then I might have a chance to profit by mis by my mistakes and learn something from the experience of others. I know there is something wrong with me, or I would now be where I would have it have been if I had spent more time analyzing my weaknesses and less time building alibis to cover them. All right, an alibi is a child's is a child of one's own imagination. It's human nature to defend one's own brainchild. It's human nature to defend ourselves, even when we're wrong. You know, we we'll always want to be right, and that's one of the things that keeps us from ever achieving all those goals that we set up in our minds. Um, yeah, man. Oh, I got to get to work. I don't have enough time to make the bed. It's Friday. You said Monday. You said Sunday that this week you were going to start making your bed. And that you was gonna be consistent. It's already Friday. You haven't made your bed in. You haven't made your bed once. All right. It's easy to make excuses. He says building alibis is a deeply rooted habit. Habits are difficult to break, especially when they provide justification for something we do. Plato had this truth in mind when he said, "The first and best victory is to be con is to conquer self. To be conquered by self is, of all things, the most shameful." and vile another philosopher had the same thought in mind when he said it was a great surprise to me when i discovered that the most that most of the ugliness i saw in others was but a reflection of my own nature yo that one let me tell you something about that one that phrase right there hit me as hard the first time that i read this book <laughs> As it hit me the first time that I had a psychedelic trip. And as hard as it hit me when I read this quote again this morning. You feel me? And it reminded me. Because it reminds me all the time that when I notice and when I hate something in other people. It always brings me back to the questions like, yo, why do you dislike that so much? Like, is that something that you do that you're not aware of? Is that an ugliness in you that that you just you're so focused on the other person that you're not able to, to see that within yourself? So always ask yourself that. You feel me? When you catch yourself judging somebody like or being overcritical of what somebody else is doing, really fucking take a second to analyze yourself. Because this is why this book is so amazing. And some people turn it into like a like a ritual, right? They they do this. I, I know this individual. His name is Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor is probably like, I think he says he's like 82 or 80 something like that. Or maybe 70. I'm, I don't know. Uh, but, yo, Bob Proctor, after he read this book once, he basically made it like the found, the, the, the literally the foundation of, all that he's created and Bob Proctor has made a few millionaires just as Napoleon Hill made m probably thousands, if not millions of millionaires after writing this book, because a few hundred thousand people have read this book and they have become wealthy because of this book. But here um, in this in the same chapter in the Devil's Workshop, um, Napoleon Hill also sets down self-analysis test questions, right? And he calls these how to protect yourself against negative influences. So he puts down these these uh these about 30 something questions that you ask yourself. And like one of them is like for for example, like do you find fault with other people at the slightest provocation? Do you? You get me? Oh, think and grow rich. Thuyan, 2596. But yeah, man, do you frequently make mistakes in your work? If so, why? Are you sarcastic and offensive in your conversations? You know, like, 
sometimes those type of things keep us from success and we don't even think much of it. Here's another one. Who has the most inspiring influence upon you? What is the cause? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you tolerate negative or discouraging influences that can that you can avoid? You get me? Like, are you allowing people in your circle that are putting you down, that are causing you to second guess yourself, to to doubt yourself, to act towards others in a manner that is not conducive to the lifestyle that you wished for yourself? So we got to be mindful of that. You get me? Here's another one. Have you learned how to create a mental state of mind with which you can shield yourself against all discouraging influences? Mm, you feel me? The devil's workshop is really dangerous, man. That that it's, it, it, so many things can happen there that we ourselves are the 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 cause of that we often tend to to try to place that that responsibility, that blame on other people. Um I do my best not to do that. You feel me? At the end of the day, I know that my account, my 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 my, my bank account is at negative almost seven thousand dollars, and that was because fucking throughout my whole military experience, I was more focused on spending on what I wore, even though I had I wasn't wearing none of that shit, than on investing, man, because I didn't really have that mindset. I didn't have that investment mindset. And so now I got to deal with that. You feel me? I got to deal with the debt that I have and having that shit on my back and and having the collector's call. And I don't have no means by which to deal with that. And now I'm dealing with this negativity that I brought from my past that is still following me in my present and that I have to, that I cannot allow to have such an effect over my present circumstances that I cannot create a better future for me you feel me so therefore i gotta be i gotta be so aware of like the things that the negative thoughts in my mind and the negativity that i have i gotta have control over that over my mind so that i can stay positive in a state of consciousness that 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 stuff doesn't bother me and that i know that yo that'll get taken care of so long as i'm taking care of what needs to get taken care of now because you can't really you can't really control the past you can only learn from it right so that that's there right (laughs) You feel me? Those bill collectors are there. They're calling. There's no way, there's no manner to take care of that shit, right? So you can only take care, I can only take care of the things that I can handle or handle in the now. So it's not that I'm going to forget about that shit, right? It's fucking stupid to forget, try to forget about the past. Like, no, you can't, you, you, have, to, you have to know it so that you can know how to avoid it. If you try to forget it and act like it's not there, that shit's going to continue to follow you. You're going to continue... Or I'm going to continue to make mistakes that are con- going to continue to bring those type of circumstances back into play. So it's, 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 it's important. It's like certain things are important. We got to be mindful. We got to be really mindful of ourselves and of the actions that we take. See? What did he say? What did he say? I will remind you that if life, that life is a drought board and the player opposite you is time time all right you're dealing with time if you hesitate before moving or neglect to move promptly your droughts will be wiped off the board of time by time you are playing against a partner who will not tolerate indecision yo time life does not care if you're if you're still waiting on confidence to develop if you're waiting on your finances to get right before you go and talk to that individual, before you make the, the blog, before you start creating the, the post, before you write down the goals and you set up the business plan. Yo, time does not care. All right. Time does not care if you don't have the money. Time does not care if your credit is fucked up. Time does not care if you're missing a foot or you just had an accident. Whatever words you got to speak, whatever actions you got to take, whatever thoughts you have to manifest within you, whatever you got to write down, just do it. Do what you can with what you got, wherever you are. Stop waiting to be ready. If I wait to be ready to feel like speaking, I will never get on this fucking social networks and share my thoughts and share my ideas. If I wait to always feel good and feel ready, I won't do shit. Um, yesterday and today, I haven't been to the real estate office, right? 
What's my excuse? Oh, I got a headache. I really, this is the third day with this thing. This, 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 these, these headaches used to fuck me up whenever I fought because I hate taking days off, right? And especially for when I'm, when I'm training for fights. Right now, I'm like, yo, I'm waiting on so many things to, 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 to drop that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stay home. I'm going to try to see if, if, because usually when we stop ourselves from doing something, we become, we, we get sidetracked and we can easily be distracted, right? So we, we like to be at work when, when we want to do something. And if we're at home, we're not like working. But for me, it's like, yo, I got to fucking be able to work wherever I'm at, whether I'm at home, whether I'm at the office or whether I'm in my car about to spark up a blunt because my discipline was so low. I got to have a book next to me so that I can continue reading so that I can continue developing myself. Because it's easy to get sidetracked. It's easy to go get a sip of that, to get a sip of, of wine and just chill back. Nah, bro, let me tell you something. If you got an alcohol problem and you and, and you feel like every time you take a sip, you end, your productivity level goes down, be mindful of that shit. All right? Whatever the fuck you got to do, so long as it doesn't involve any equipment and you might hurt somebody. You feel me? If it involves you picking up a book, you listening to the audio book, yo, grab that glass of fucking wine. Grab that book, grab that audio book, and yo, do what the fuck you can with what you got, all right? But eventually, just be mindful that, yo, them, them spirits, just like the, the just like the weed, just like the tobacco, just like anything that we um, use as a crutch, we're not always going to need that crutch, all right? Your ankle's going to heal up. Your knee's going to heal up. You will get better. And you will be able to master those negative habits. Um, just focus on what you can and do what you can with what you got in the moment, right? Let's go with this last one right here, right? He's like, all right, previously you may have had a logical excuse for not, look at this shit. Yo, Napoleon Hill. It's like when you're reading, a, when you when you talking to somebody, when you're in church and, and like you're talking, right? You pull out the book. You pull out the, the scripturals and you and you're like da 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 and then you go to the scriptures it's like oh boom it's it's saying what I it's it's even it's even written what I want to speak to the people right so he's like yo previously so you may have had logical excuses for not having forced life to come through with whatever you asked all right however that alibi is now obsolete because you are in possession of the master key that unlocks the door to life's bountiful riches. All right? The master key is the intangible, but the master key is intangible, but it is powerful. It is the privilege of creating in your mind a burning desire for a definite for a definite form of riches. There is no penalty for the use of the key, but there is a price you must pay if you do not use it. The price is failure. If you do not use your mind, if you do not use your the powers within your subconscious mind, if you, if we, if we, if I do not use the power of my willpower, if I do not use my willpower to to will myself to sit down and meditate on whatever I need to meditate, if I do not use my willpower, my subconscious powers to to will myself to reiterate the affirmations if i do not force if if i do not will myself if i do not will the 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 intelligence within my subconscious mind and the intelligence and the energies within this universe if i do not will myself and these things if i do not have any willpower within myself if i do not use that key then i will not have nothing that i wish for in life, you feel me? And just like these plants, you feel me? Just like these trees, they take time to grow and many of them take their time and they bear their fruits and their seasons. Just like they bear fruit in their seasons, I must understand that it will take time for me to also grow, right? For me to flourish, for me to dig deep enough into this soil and become so stable in my in my in myself. If 
in my character, if I cannot build that character, you feel me, like a tree, like Abraham Lincoln said, yo, your character is like a tree, but your reputation is like a shadow, that shit is always moving, if you can, if you cannot become like the tree, and you remain as a shadow, always shifting by the opinions of culture and society, then you will not obtain, you will not be able to master your subconscious mind, you will not be able to use that key to access the universal force and manifest whatever you want to manifest in this reality, all right? There is a penalty, all right? Your penalty, that what's that penalty? That penalty is going to be your comfort. That penalty is going to be um the the sleepless nights working on your on your on your on your book, working on your on your vision board. You feel me working on your on your planning board, working on 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 that, yo. You feel me on creating a version of yourself that you can be proud of, that you can feel proud of. And those are the sacrifices, my G. It's those those days that, no, I can't go out with you guys. No, I can't smoke that blunt right now. No, yo. No, we can't chill. No, I, we're going to have to break up. You feel me? It's those sacrifices. You feel me? The price is failure. You do not want to deal with failure. You don't want to deal with regret. All right? There is a reward of stupendous proportion, Napoleon Hill writes. If you put the key to use, it is the satisfaction that comes to all who conquer self and force life to pay whatever is asked. All right? The reward is worthy of your effort. All right? Yo, whatever you got to, whatever, whatever work you got to put in, yo, however dog you got to go, man, for your dream, what you get out of it, you earn that shit, bro. You're worthy of that. If you, if, if, if you want a million, if you want a hundred million, if you want a billion, if you want a hundred billion dollars. Because that is how big your why is. Because that is what you feel. That is how much you feel that you have come to do to this world. You feel me? Like, if you feel like you came here to help build universities and schools and temples all across this world. Or if you simply feel like you just came here to write a book. Yo, whatever it is. You deserve it, my nigga. But your efforts... Will determine if you earn it, all right? Will you make the start and be convinced? All right? He said, he undid it. He was like, if we are related, said the immortal Emerson, we shall meet. And in closing, he said, if we are related, we have, through these pages, already met. You feel me? There's my 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 Caucasian cousin. Probably, probably my Caucasian cousin, you feel me? Because my grandfather was a Caucasian Spaniard. So, yo, thank you, Napoleon Hill. Um, because without you, brother, I wouldn't be right here right now sharing some wisdom and some knowledge on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Well, I'm done with my morning read. Um, I wasn't expecting to make a video today, but hey. We got it done. Um, the headache is not as bad. Life is still beautiful. It's nice and wet out here in Jersey City, New Jersey, America, you feel me? In the States. But that's all I have for this morning, possibly for the day. Um, may y'all have a great and blessed rest of your week. And may you continue to strive and be pushed towards all that you wish to achieve. Love y'all. Might upload this on the YouTube, so go and check it out, all right? As I get better, so will the videos and the content that I provide, all right? And the energy. One.